you're not going away empty-handed, of course. Two great gold runs get you the DVD players, you get that theme park pass, which Roops was getting very excited about. <laughs> you get one of these e-readers also. That's a great total, £180 each to take away. Roops and Sonny, thanks for playing. Thank you so much. Thank you. And that means that Ben will face his first gold run. How will he do? We'll have to wait until next time to find out. That's where we're going to have to leave Blockbusters for now. Until then, goodbye. I'm Charlie, and that's my favourite human, Ben. My meal times were all right, but not as natural as I'd like. Until nature's menu came along. Mmm. The raw nuggets are frozen to lock in all the nutrients I need. Just uncooked, quality meat and veggies you can see. Convenient for him, raw for me. All he does is pour, thaw, and serve. Now I eat natural like him. And look at us now. No way I'm hugging you, Ben. Haha, <laughs> just kidding. Nature's menu, raw made convenient. The Hillary's Super Sale is now on. Get window wise with our best ever offers on products to help keep your home warm, including free thermal lining on our favorite curtains and Roman blinds. Plus, you can save up to 40% off hundreds of made to measure styles, all backed by our price promise. Get window wise today. Call 0800 916 1010 or visit hillarys.co.uk for your free home appointment so you can be snug as a bug for less this winter. Hillary's Super Sale for the window wise. Don't get me wrong, spending a few hours being shown round a fancy showroom and sitting back with free cups of coffee would be very nice. But I think that buying this new sofa from Dusk.com and having money left in the bank for parenting essentials is nicer. <laughs> Dusk saying. Furnish your home with fabulous prices at Dusk.com. At Simply Safe, we design award-winning home security systems to protect what matters most to you. Cutting-edge technology at affordable prices, smart motion detectors, powerful sirens, entry sensors, outdoor and indoor cameras, easy-to-use smart security that protects your home and your family. With the option of 24-7 professional monitoring for less than a pound a day. Advanced, affordable, adaptable home security. There's no safe like Simply Safe. Shopping with studio.co.uk just works when you can bag this daily two litre air fry for just £18. That's 70% off. Shop now at studio.co.uk. Which would you choose? This refurbished Acer Chromebook or this one from Woucher? Woucher, save now, live wow. Come on, baby, shake all hands on. These are the stains Purcell is made for. Our new best ever capsules are here for outstanding stain removal, even in a quick and cold wash, leaving no residues behind. New Purcell capsules, now in a plastic free pack. Keep away from children. This is Germany calling. Germany calling. I'm going crazy. Die Kriegsmarine plant gegen Hitler vorzugehen. Wir müssen alle aufpassen, was wir sagen. Einige aus der Mannschaft glauben, dass wir einen Spitzel an Bord haben. This is Germany calling. Germany calling. Enjoy more of the latest blockbusters on Sky Cinema with Puss in Boots, The Last Wish. I am Puss in Boots. I have nine lives. How many times have you died already? Is half shellfish in it? Ah! Watch! What do you wish to do with your last life?
The wishing star. This will get me my lives back. This is gonna be fun. Fear me if you dare. Puss in Boots, The Last Wish. Available from Friday on Sky Cinema. Is that your final answer? Right, I'll go make you a cup of tea then. Who wants to be a millionaire? Weeknights at 10 on Challenge. Crowd in tonight, superb audience tonight. Thanks very much indeed. We do get a lot of letters, you know. Last series, we average about 500 letters a week asking, How do you get on Bullseye? And here we are, just started this new series, and so far we've had a thousand letters saying, How did I get on it? I think that's terrible. <laughs> I think that's very unkind. Absolutely naughty that. Let's get on with the game because uh, we've got some marvellous people tonight, so that's it. Enough of the jokes. Let, let's meet the folks. We're going to play Bullseye. <laughs> How are you, James? Hello, Chris. You've been sat there a couple of minutes, haven't you? And you're a cook, James, is that right? Yeah, cook um, at a hospital. At a hospital? Yeah. Can't we, what's the name of the hospital? Whittingham Hospital. Oh, I know it. Yes, I know it. Well, Whittingham, mm. yes, that's right. It's a big one, isn't it? It is a large Huge hospital, place, yeah. that's right. Where did you meet? You'd better ask Chris. Go on, we'll ask Chris. Where did you meet, Chris? <laughs> well, we met during a row in the canteen at the hospital. <laughs> <laughs> really? Were you, were you rowing with one another? Yes. What I, was it about? Well, I played L with him, cos he Pardon? didn't. <laughs> <laughs> played L. Played L. Go on, you're right. Uh, with him because uh, I was after a thousand calorie diet and yeah. he gave it me one meal instead of over 24 hours. Yeah, well, that's not very nice. I think mean, that's a bit unkind, that, isn't it? <laughs> you're into meditation, aren't you? I am, yes. Yeah. I enjoy meditation. You do? Well, it's better than sitting around doing nothing, isn't it? <laughs> How about you, Jim? Do you get relaxed easily with psychic nomina for now? No, I don't bother. You don't bother with it? No. Give them bangers and mash and not bother. Very nice. Nice to be both with us. Now that we've got George and Dennis. How are you, George? All right, Jim. Nice to see you. And you're from Oakham, and your father and son, that's right, George. And you work for British Rail. That's right. That's right. Well, what do you do, sir? Um, well... Uh, <laughs> you're not in trouble now, aren't you? Not, not a lot. <laughs> but what I do is good. Is it? Yeah. It's quality what you do. That's so tell us what bit well, of work you've tried to do. Uh, signal barriers down the track. That's it. Yeah. On the track, it's, yeah. it's the safety on the track. That's right, mm. because it's very important. People don't realise how much goes on there. No, they don't. Because we live in a railway station, yeah. and we have the guys walking past. That's all they totally do, walk mm -hmm. past. <laughs> That's very good. <laughs> how have you been managed, George? Oh, no, I said going to give me hell. <laughs> <laughs> we were going to put uh, this out now, you know. Thirty-four. She's there, you see. Thirty-four. There she is. Oh, she's God. keeping in order. There she is. Look, he's all got it. My mother there again. <laughs> A bit of teeth are bad when she goes to sleep. <laughs> now, come on, Dennis, that you're the son of the outfit. Uh, you you, right. tra you travel abroad a lot, Dennis? Oh, well, not a great deal, no. I've been ab abroad a few times playing football with just a local village team. What, what took you abroad, Dennis? Um, we just um, go away, mainly over Easter weekends, just to play some in foreign competitions. Yeah. Oh, hey, we're down in Wales now, aren't we? How are you, boys? Nice to see you, Derek. Hi, How are you, Phil? All yeah. right. You're looking very smart, the pair of you, if I may say so. Very yeah. dapper. That's lovely. From Caerphilly, Derek. Yes. And you're a heavy assembly fitter. Right. What's that then, Derek? I, uh, sort of I build warm air units and extract the fans. Extract for the fans. Various buildings throughout the UK. Really? Yeah. Big ones and small ones. Yes. Pal of mine swallowed an extractor fan once. He didn't have to take it out of him. <laughs> All right. Come on, Philip. Philip Jones. Oh, a lovely Welsh name. Married a Welsh girl. Anyway, no, we're not going English. to that now. From Cardiff and your and your old your old school pals. Yes. That's good. And you don't live close to one another now, then? No. no. So how did you meet up to do to, to, to write for Bullseye? Did you just decide you, you were a fair dark player and your mate was a bit sharp up here? Well, wasn't a friend of mine, a friend of mine, um, went away for the international in Scotland. Yeah. And he didn't get back. He missed the bus. <coughs> so. What are you doing when you've had a Philip, drink and you tend to forget? Yeah. Uh, Philip was a sort of last hope. 
So I just, I just well, that makes you feel wanted, Gordon, doesn't it? For Gordon, I, just, the off I just popped in a pub and he was in there on the off chance. So, so, you, so it really was that, like, again, right. yeah. all chance. Because yeah. the odds ago. against getting on on, his, on the show are really phenomenal, you know. They really are. We're delighted to have all six of you with us. You look absolutely great. Give them a nice round of applause, our six contestants tonight. That's excellent. That's great. Well, what a superb crowd we've got tonight. All right, let's ask the brains of the outfits. Off you go to your seats. Great. As they move to the seats, we'll get on with the game. Let's introduce you to Bullies Category Board. Here it is. Subjects around the board instead of numbers. And in each subject area, we've got bonus areas. 30, 50, 100 pounds. Bonuses to be won by the dark player if he gets his act together and does what his partner asks. If he hits the bullseye, he can win for his team 200 pounds. Yeah. What about that? Yeah. All right. We arranged the order of play before we went on air tonight. And, of course, remember, just to remind you at home, once a subject's been hit, it drops out of the game. And if the dart player doesn't do as he's told and doesn't hit the subject, he doesn't get a bonus. All right, questions here waiting to be answered. Game waiting to be played. Now then, young Chris, choose a subject for your partner, James. Faces, please, Jim. Faces. We'll try, try that for you nicely. That's a bullseye, 200 pounds! Whoa, 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 dear, dear, dear. Can, can we stand it at centre of all this? Here we go, what a lovely start for you, Chris. Another 30 pounds you can add to that, if you can tell me this. Look at this slide. Tell me who it is, Chris. Uh, Bob, is it Barbara Cartland? Are you telling me or asking? Yeah. You're telling I'm me telling it's Barbara Cartland. You are, and you're quite right, gives you another 30 pounds. All right, let's move on. Dennis for George. Sport, please, Jim. Come on, George. Let's see if Dad can get to... £50. For another £30, Dennis, what nationality is the tennis player Ilya Nastasi? Romanian. Romanian gets you £30. Fine. Phil for Derek. Uh, Britain, please, Jim. Britain. We'll try Britain. A Welshman asking for a British question. No problem. £30 you've got. For another £30, Phil, here we go. What is the name of the official residence of the Lord Mayor of London? Lambeth Palace. It's not. I'm looking for a light. You just snatched at it a bit there, Phil, didn't you? And you will be a bit cross, I think, when I tell you. Never mind. It's the Mansion House. OK, don't worry about it. Still early days, all of you, so don't uh, rest on your laurels or be too worried. Chris and James with £230. Dennis and George with £80. Phil and Derek with £30. Second round, questions, £50 each. A little bit more difficult, just to help you. The subject to lit, they're the ones we can ask your partners to hit. Chris for James. Uh, showbiz, please. Jim, showbiz. Come on, Jim. In you go, sir. It's not. It's in history. So there's no bonus. So here's your question on history. Give me one second just to get... Here we are. It's for £50, this, Chris. What is it that makes Nicholas Breakspear, that's Pope Adrian IV, unique in the Roman Catholic Church? There is a light on. Maybe you can work it out, Chris, quickly. I'm no, sorry, Dan. We'll go straight across to Phil with his light on. He's the only British priest ever to become Pope. Can you be slightly more specific? You're near enough for me to give it to you. It's not British, it's... English. English. We've got to give you that because you were near enough and for £50 we accept that. Fine. <coughs> Gives you a £50 bonus. All right, yeah. We move on. Dennis, choose a subject for George. Affairs, please. Affairs. Please. Let's try that for you, George. Come on, Dad. Affairs we're looking at. £50. So close to the 100 then, George. He was a bit disappointed with his performance then. Come on then, Dennis. Here we go for another £50. Whose daughter returned to Russia in December 1984 having defected to the West 17 years earlier. You can work it out, that one. Soldier it's in. It's not. You're right to have a stab. We're looking for a light on. It's slightly more difficult than we thought, then. I think you'll probably remember when I tell you. It was Stalin's daughter, Svetlana. <laughs> yes, you see, that knowing nod. Never mind. Come on, Phil. Here we go for Derek. Uh, places, please, Jim. Places. Let's try it. Come on, Derek. Places we're looking for. Fifty pounds, right in the middle. Here we go, Phil. Sailing ships try to avoid the area of seas around the equator with very little pressure and little wind. 
What are they called? The doldrums. The doldrums is right. If they don't have much wind, well, they must have had early settlers. <laughs> <laughs> right. So there we are at the end of that round two in this game. It's Chris and James with £230. Dennis and George, £130. Phil and Derek, £180. All to... Well, that's all right, isn't it? <laughs> I, um... I do have to say to you, this extremely high winning rate will have to cease. <laughs> But it may well not, because the questions here are worth £100 each. All right, more difficult they are, and of course less to aim at. Let's look at what the boys have got left. We've got left, in fact, showbiz, books, words and spelling. Here we go. Come on, Chris, for young Jim. Showbiz again. Jim, showbiz please. again. Try and get in on the act, in the, on the act James. £50. For another £100, Chris, Sophia Loren and Peter Sellers made a record called Goodness Gracious Me. From which film did it come? <coughs> well, bullies come in to deprive you of £100 and we've no light on. I'm older than I thought I was. In fact, what about the audience? The millionaires? Yes? Never mind. That's uh, no score there. Dennis, choose a subject for George. Um. Books, please, Jim. Books. Come on, George. Books we want. It's not. He's gone wrong. He's gone in history. The subject's gone and we can't ask the question. It's the price you pay for going towards the bull, isn't it? Phil, for Derek. Uh, words, please, Jim. Words. Words we're looking for, Derek. £50. For another £100, Phil, if you saw a display of pyrotechnics, what would you be watching? Fireworks. You would indeed. That gives you another £100. Gives us the scores. Chris and James, £280. Dennis and George, £130. Phil and Derek, £330. So we've got to say cheerio to Dennis and George. But all three couples done very, very well. <laughs> come on, George. <laughs> In you come. Oh. <laughs> come on, George. All oh, right, okay. So, well, you were right to get into the middle there, weren't you? You needed to get into the middle, and it's the price you pay, I'm afraid, for going in there. You've done all right, though. You've got our great bendy bullies. There they are. And they are becoming incredibly famous, you know, after so little time on television. Superstars. Yeah. And they're looking after the darts and the badges. There we are. You've won. Can you remember how much it was you won? I, I, think, I think it was £130. There's 100, 10, 20. £30. Take that with our compliments. You've been great to have on the show. And, and that's, that's it. The bullies are worth more than the money. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, very Thanks very much indeed, George. Yeah. Thank you very much. What a great couple. Thank you, George. Thank you. <laughs> OK. Move on to uh, part two of the game of Bullseye. You know it by now. Let's look at it. It's the normal match play dartboard. I wonder if this change of colours is having an effect on the scoring of these players, because they did seem to score very well in the last show, didn't they? Let's have a look at it. There we are, green and red. Just to remind you, the official tournament colours. Two remaining dart players to compete in three rounds, rounds of darts against each other. They're coming in. Eager they are to play the game. Win questions for your partner. The highest score you get and the value of the question is the score. All right, boys. Tony will look after you. Off we go. James, and it's into two. start the first round. Rounds for points we're looking at. Nice and easy. One. Another one. That's a 20, so just 22. There it is, Derek. 22 to beat. 20. 20. Another 20. That's 60, which takes the first round. Sure. So, all right. 60 points means 60 pounds. And it can be won by Phil, if you get this right. Here we go, Phil. General knowledge, as you know, in this section. Which river flows into the Dead Sea, Phil? Quite deceptive, that one, actually. It's over. He's come in as bully to stop you answering. Chris? Nile. It's not the Nile. Surprise me, actually. The Jordan. No score. 280 plays 330. Back to Tony. Second round. It's James throwing. 20. Another 20. And that's the treble 5, 15, so that's 55. 55 to beat, Derek. Five. Treble 20, 60. 
And that's a 570, which takes the second round. Right, it's worth the... Uh, well, it's worth £70 to you, this, Phil. How many pairs of ribs are there in the human body? Eleven. I can offer it. Chris, how many pairs of ribs? Thirteen. It's not. You're going to be very cross. It's no. twelve. One either <laughs> side. No. no score. 280 playing 330 and back to Tony for the final round. Okay, one in the ribs for James. It's the final round. <laughs> 20. Another 20. And another 20. That's 60. Derek. 60 to beat. Twenty. Twenty. And eighteen fifty-eight, so the final round to James. All right, here we go, Chris. Sixty well, you can if you get this, you go through to the final. Here we go. By what name are members of the Christian sect formerly called the Society of Friends? What are they known as? The Society of Friends. It's a Christian sect, and the formal name is the Society of Friends. <laughs> Bullies no. come in. Well, you can take 58 quid here, Phil. The Quakers. Quakers is right, which is exactly what you were doing then, wasn't it? You were quaking a little bit there. Never mind. So we've got 280 playing, 388 pounds. They've done very, very well, haven't they? Both couples. Give them a round of applause. They're super. <laughs> All right. Come on, Chris. Come on, James. In you go. You've done very, very well. Very, very, oh, because of that, I'll bet you know now what Society of Friends are, won't you? There are your tankards with our compliments. I'll be in disgrace at the hospital, oh, not getting them ribs. Really? The ribs, of course. I've just realised you're working at Oh, dear, you'll have to face them. <laughs> there are your bendy bullies. There they are with the darts and, of course, the badge. Tankards are there. You've won altogether £280. I shall count it out. It will take me two minutes when we'd like to see you here, back on the hockey. <laughs> When Tony passed, we wanted to celebrate him his way. All he ever spoke about was bite this, bite that. I'll never forget our first date. Huge grin on his face as he rode up on that big noisy thing. And that's exactly the way he'd want to be remembered. At Co-op Funeral Care, we know everyone is different. That's why we offer funeral plans to funeral services that are personal, every step of the way. When the pager goes off, I don't know who will need rescuing. It could be someone like her, or him, or someone you love. And when we get that call, we'll answer it. Day or night, rain or shine. As volunteers, we don't ask to be paid. All we do ask for is the kit, training, and backup that keeps us ready and safe. And as a charity, the RNLI depends on donations from kind people like you to help us save lives. So please call 0330 678 1729 or search RNLI to give £3 a month now. Your donation will help keep us ready to answer the next call. Human achievement. Looking good. The drive to understand. To improve. These are the things that bring us greatness. New iPhone 15 Pro with aerospace grade titanium at an everyday price on the UK's best network. Which would you choose? This Rattan Garden furniture set? Or this one from Woucher? Woucher, save now, live wow. Let's be honest, no one makes a mess like these guys. It's not just mess you can see. Dirt, dust, hair, even snacks are hiding deep down. Stratos from Shark is designed with CleanSense IQ, intelligently detecting the dirt you can't see and automatically boosts power for up to 50% better dirt pickup. With Shark's best ever hair removal and recommended by 9 out of 10 pet owners, Stratos from Shark.
Evening. Hey, before you choose tonight's dinner, have you seen these co-op member prices? I know. All this and more just for being a co-op member. Co-op members save more just by being a member, and you can sign up in seconds on your phone. Even a proper donut knows co-op members save more with member prices. Sign up and save more. Bit rude. When friendship meets rivalry. Cool guy, nice guy. Right now, that word stop. It's really that simple, me or him. There can only be one winner. But what's Straight down to one. Can't take your eyes off him. Aziz. Super Dan Aziz. Going in for 12 brutal rounds. Oh, my God. Two South London boys, one world title eliminator. But what's Aziz? Live on Sky Sports. The British Empire. For some, its former glory has been called into question. But is it really a legacy of bloody conquest and exploitation? You've done something wrong, go in the hole. People just don't want to go there. This is intense. Join me, Al Murray. And me. Quickly, quickly. As we journey to find out. Can we get out now? Why does everyone hate the British Empire? Starts Monday the 23rd of October on Sky History. Thanks very much. Great crowd again we've got this week. You know, in this part of the game, we employ the skills of a professional dart player to throw for charity. It's a bit of pressure on him because we only give him nine darts and it's all got to count in that time. Whatever he scores, it's a pound for a points basis, we give to the charity chosen by the finalists. If he gets 301, we double that score. He's quite keen now, the rivalry, so what we've done this series, we've, we've had built a beautiful bronze bully. Very, very tasty piece of sculpting, that. We, we give that to the dart player who gets the highest score by the end of the season. We have got tonight a gentleman who's very big in darts. He's big in shirts, <laughs> shoes, <laughs> trousers. People call him the gentle giant. I tend to call him sir. On, He's a gentleman throwing for charity tonight, twice the British Open champion, Danish champion. He's a gentleman of the business. We're delighted to have him with us. Cliff Lazarenko throwing for charity. <laughs> <laughs> Right, this time, please. Cliff to throw. 20. 20. 20, that's 60. Five. Treble 20, 60. And treble 19, 57, 122. 182. Treble 5, 15. 7. And 57, that's 79, which gives you 261. Good to see you. Oh, well, marvellous. It's always a delight to have you on the programme. You've got there, what is it, 261? Good old score, that, isn't it? Yeah, it's not, not bad. It's a bit disappointing, but... Yeah, uh, because you want the trophy, don't you? Of course uh, I do. Oh, no, never mind. What have you been doing with yourself? You're just back from Australia? Yeah, and uh, hopefully that uh, I've got a series for next year to go back, so Great. the invitation to go back. So. I mean, you really are big in Australia, aren't you? I mean, they're nice yeah, I mean, possible. it's so popular down there, you yeah. know, and uh, they love big guys down there. We've got two guys tonight. They'll be glad of that £261. Bring them on. Come on in, boys, and meet this lovely fella. <laughs> there we are. Phil, Phil, this is it. This is it. Yeah, this was a He's got the £261. Where's it going? It's going to a national charity which um, does research into heart disease. Super. This is the lad who's got it for you. It's always a great pleasure to have him on the programme. Cliff, you're Cheers, always welcome, sir, on Bullseye. Cheers. Thank you very much. There you are. That's the man who's got it for you. Thank you. Uh, get it to the game. Get it to the sport. It's Bullish Prize board now. Did you think you'd get to this? No, I didn't. Well, you've no idea. It's been a long day for you. Come on, it's all coming to fruition now. Come and look at this. It's the prize board. There it is, red and black segments. And I needn't remind you that in the red segments, there are some absolutely superb prizes. Watch this. In one. Monday will be Mum's Fun Day with this combined washing and drying machine. In two. I've been crystal gazing. 
and I predict you'll love these six brandy glasses and decanter. In three! Can you imagine anything more cuddly, apart from a bullseye host, than this lovely beef eater bear? In four! We've cooked up something really special, and so will you with these splendid copper saucepans. In five! Every sort of indoor sport on this splendid games table. In six! In the best possible taste, coffee from this espresso coffee maker. In seven! For the music maker going places, this portable electric keyboard. In eight! You'll always know when and weather with this matching brass clock and barometer. And Bully's special prize! If you're in a jam, then this smart and economical scooter could be just what you need. There we are. Right. There are some very, very nice prizes there. There are nine. All for the winning. I've given you nine dart, six for the dart player, three for the non-dart player. All right? Keep out of the black and in the red. Nothing in this game for two in a bed. The lights around the board will help you. Off you go. Listen to Tony. Here we go, then. Stand with me, Phil. OK, Derek. First of your nine darts. That's black. That's red. It's number three. It's fine. That's a cuddly toy. But that's black. Not to worry. Very near the ball. OK, Phil, nice and easy. That's red, it's number four. That's fine, that's a set of copper saucepans, a lovely prize. Red again, number seven. Excellent, the portable electric keyboard. Great. And lucky, that's in the black. Three darts to go, and Derek to throw. Black. That's red, it's number five. That's the games table. That's black. Well done. OK, let's have a look at what you've won. You've won the cuddly toy, the set of copper saucepans, the games table and the portable electronic keyboard. Nice prizes there. <laughs> All right. Think about the prizes you've won. Your money's safe, your charity money's safe. But consider those prizes. Would you like to gamble that batch of prizes against tonight's prize, which is hiding behind Bully? 101 or more with six darts, three apiece, non-dart player first. You've got the time it takes the board to revolve to tell us what you'd like to do. Oh, Difficult yeah. decision. What do you think? Come on, audience. Yeah. Do you? Yeah. Well, well, I don't know. You've, you've, well, it's decision time. Tell me now. Okay. You've decided to gamble. Non-dart player to go first. Dart player come and stand with me. Here we go. Settle down, Phil. 101 or more. For the star prize and the best of luck. It's one, twenty, another twenty, so forty one, leaving Derek sixty or more for tonight's star prize. Twenty, twenty. Oh, lucky, but that's the gamble. Well, there you are, you gamble four prizes. Come and have a look. Bullies boys are going to show you what you would have won. Have a look at this prize. Here we go. It's a superb English craftsman at its best. It's a speedboat with a 30 horsepower motor on the back, a, a trailer to help you tow it, and talking of towing, there's all the skiing equipment with the safety equipment as well. All could have been yours at the throw of a dart. Never mind. It's not as black as all that because you've got here your tankards. There it is. £388 is it between you in those tankards. Your bendy bullies take them all our compliments. There you go. And of course, you've got your darts and your badges. There we are, you see. 101 and ooh, it's not all that easy. You tried in the local when you go in there tonight. We'd like to thank these two boys for being really great sports, as have the professional dart players. It's Cliff Lazarenko tonight, and of course, the calculating Tony Green. Great studio audience. Hope you've enjoyed it at home. Watch us next week because you can't beat a bit of bully. Bye. <laughs>